Go ahead, Dr. Force 4. What was he doing? No, he come over. I told him, I said, don't say nothing to me. I said, you make a scene. Yeah, he's got the video camera out saying also he's a, he's a child molester. Yeah. He got charged with child molestation. Yeah. Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. Today, we're going to take a look at the Commerce Police Department located in the state of Georgia. This video comes from North Georgia Audit YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to his channel, please make sure you go and do so. So let's jump right into this. Officer, well, a, a police officer by the name of Officer Og of the Commerce Police Department located in Georgia um, had a little bit of slander going on. Uh, actually, a little bit is the wrong word. A lot of it, if that's even the word. Had a lot of slanderous words to say about um, the cameraman, North Georgia Audit, in this video. And according to North Georgia Audit, there is some history be between himself and this officer. And it's a bit of bl bad blood. So as the officer passed by his home, he did say something to the officer. But what the officer said back to him is what we're going to focus on. And you might ask the question, like, well, why won't you focus on what he stated? Because remember... You, the citizen, you're not the one held to the higher standard. The police are. The officer of the law, the one who's sworn to uphold your rights, that person is supposed to remain professional no matter what is done or what is said. Even in the face or in the, um, in the time that he's making or she's making an arrest, it's always supposed to remain professional. And speaking about professionalism of police officers, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna read some comments that were placed in the side of the comment section of, on the video that we released yesterday. Um, some things I just wanna clear up and uh, just respond to here on this video. But for right now, let's jump into this. And guys, put your comments down below. I would love to see what you guys think. Turn your body cam on, so I can that. What'd you call me? Like I said, I don't talk to child molesters. Thank you. You realize I was you acquitted of all charges? Don't do it. I'm gonna have your CTW. I don't give a fuck going there. One, it's it's illegal for you to go never, in there and solicit a trespass. I don't give a fuck. No, it's not. One, I was acquitted of all charges, dipshit. You're a child molester. I was acquitted of all charges, dipshit. Tell everybody on your page that. Everybody already fucking knows. I've talked no, about don't. it. I've talked about it. You want to be the next famous one? You want to be the next famous one? You want to be the next famous one? You want to tell everybody on your page that? Go ahead. No, they don't. No, they don't. And your white supremacist? Nah. I don't talk to you, man. Hey. You guys cool with CTW and this guy off your property? This guy right here in the red shirt. Oh, that's now fine. he's walking away. Yeah, that's fine. He come over. He was making a scene while I was sitting in the parking lot. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. Time? You know that's what I'm talking about? Was, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, he, he, right he, he now he's phone. standing on the sidewalk. As we all mostly know, a police officer cannot go and request or ask the business owner for a criminal trespass warning against a person. That's a violation. You you can't do that. It's illegal. You can't. You just can't do it. But on video. He is here doing so. And I'm also a little disappointed in the business owner. Just because a police officer comes into your business and they ask you a question, hey, can I trespass this guy? It's kind of foolish of a business owner to say yes if this person that they're referring to has not done anything negative to the business. He is a, a customer. The people that actually help your business don't just side with the police officer because that particular officer has an issue with the with that customer. If you ask me, hey, can we trespass this guy? Why? No, he didn't do anything to me. That's between you guys. If he breaks a law, that's one thing. But if not, no, that's one of my paying customers. No, you can't trespass him. I want him here. But hey, I guess some people value friendship with law enforcement over their business. Maybe. I'm not sure. Let's keep watching. Go ahead, Dr. Force 4. What was he doing? No, he come over. I told him, I said, don't say nothing to me. I said, you make a scene. Yeah, he's got the video camera out saying also he's a, he's a child molester. Yeah. He got charged with child molestation. Yeah. And got released. Really sat in jail. Radio, Dr. Yeah. Dr. He's the one who got Check the phone. <laughs> yeah. Emerson. Yeah. So I told him, now he's standing on the sidewalk. Yeah. So I'm going to tell, if if he comes back on the property, let yeah. me know. Yeah. I know y'all fixing to leave, but, yeah. Yeah. and I'll, I'll see you the other one. Right okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yes, sir. No, I you. You be 
You've been warned. You step foot on this property again, they're going to CTW you. You make a scene. Do not make a scene right now. I'm telling you right now. You're on the sidewalk. Don't play with me. It's called an easement. I'm not an idiot. Well, that's debatable. I know, I know what an easement is. I know how the law works, dude. Yeah. Why don't you pull up the, uh, why don't you pull up the final disposition on my charges, dipshit? Why don't you pull up the final disposition on my charges, dipshit? A white supremacist? A white supremacist? Where the fuck did you get that from? Yeah, you're done. You're definitely done. You'll be the next one with a fucking complaint, and you'll be the third Commerce Police Department out of here in six months. Is that right? Is that right? Do you know anything about the case? Did you? Yeah, they charged me for no reason, dipshit. That's why I don't, is there a red dot on my house? Is there a red dot on my house, dipshit? Yeah, you're talking dipshit. You're talking dipshit. You're talking dipshit. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you serve there's a juvenile out here, I'm taking you to jail. That's not how fucking uh, dis disorderly conduct works. That's not how disorderly conduct works. You can tell, it's okay, you can tell him. That's okay, you can tell him to slow down. You can tell them to slow down. It's okay. That's your freedom. No. I'm going to tell you right now, if you curse and there's a, a juvenile out here, I'm taking you to jail. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's disorderly conduct. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 100%. 100%. 100%. We're all adults out here, unfortunately. So when I work in the state of Georgia as a police officer, the OCGA 1139 disorderly conduct law was used as a POP law, POP, pissing off the police. It was used anytime a citizen would make a police officer mad because you can kind of stick anything really up under this law and charge somebody with it, take them to jail, ruin their day just to mess with them, right? Why? Because they pissed off the police. But that's not the way it works. Let's read the law. What this guy, this cop thinks he can make an arrest for, he really can't. Let's read this. A person commits the offense of disorderly conduct when such person commits any of the following, acts in a violent or tumultuous manner toward another person, whereby such person is placed in reasonable fear of the safety of such person's life, limb, or health. That's not happening here acts in a violent or tumultuous manner toward another person whereby the property of such person is placed in danger of being damaged or destroyed. That's not happening. Without provocation, uses to or of another person in such other person's presence, opprobrious or abusive words, which by their very utterance tend to incite to an immediate breach of the peace. That is to say, words which as a matter of common knowledge and under ordinary circumstances will, when used to of another person in such other person's presence, naturally tend to provoke violent resentment. That is words commonly called fighting words. So really quickly, concerning this law, we see that the North Georgia audit, the cameraman, he's not acting violently. So it's, therefore, he's not fitting the definition of anything this law is talking about. Now, the law continues to say without provocation. Is it not provoking someone to swear or cut, curse at you if you're calling them a child molester, especially you're calling them a child molester on a charge he or she was acquitted from? All right. Acquitted of, should I say. So they were found not guilty. And according to North Georgia audit, and the link will be down below where he talks about this more in detail. After the evidence and the facts came out, the jury found him not guilty in less than 15 minutes. It was overwhelmingly obvious that this was a trumped up charge. And yet these officers are still carrying the, the thing, the fact that in their mind that this guy is a, a child molester or 
pedophile, which we really can't say on YouTube, but by them continuing to say this, that's provoking someone. That would anger anyone. So by the letter of the law itself, Mr. Officer, you can't arrest him because it said you cannot provoke the person into it. You can't provoke a person into these actions and then turn around and arrest them for the actions that you provoke them into. Now the officer's carrying on and saying, well, if a 14 year old, well, I'm sorry, if a juvenile is present, then I'm going to arrest you. But look what the law says about that. And the last portion of the law, without provocation uses obscene and vulgar or profane language in the presence of or by telephone to a person under the age of 14, which threatens an immediate breach of peace. First off, the person can't just be a juvenile. They have to be under the age of 14. And again, it has to be without being provoked. Officer, you're calling this man a name. You're 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 calling him something that he's been cleared from. This is clearly slander. You're slandering a man's name and you expect him not to be upset. You go into a business and you break the law by asking the business owner to have someone trespass who's done nothing illegal and you expect him not to be upset. And then when he gets upset, you're going to try and arrest him for the same thing you for the same actions or words that you provoked. That's not lawful. It's not slander. Try again. No. 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 Hello? Hey, bro. Go ahead and make your way on over here just in case this guy does something stupid. He's out here making a scene. Okay. I mean, what's I mean, he doing? He, he's just standing out on the sidewalk acting a fool. Who's he talking to? He's yelling at me. Oh. I mean, All right, I'll come out there. Because for whatever reason, he doesn't think he's a child molester anymore. You're totally fine. Because, I mean, if, if, I mean, if he's disorderly, I already, disorderly contact I, is, I already you know, told him. Peace. I already told him, I said, he could stand out there and yell and scream all he wants, but once there's juveniles involved, I said, I'll take him to jail for disorderly. And for oh, whatever, and for, well, well for whatever reason, he seems to think, happen. Whatever, whatever, he seems to think that he can stand out here and curse and scream and yell and not go to jail for disorderly. So I don't know where he's getting these ideas from, <laughs> you know, he's obviously yeah. not reading the fine print of the law, so it's okay. Yeah, no, I mean, if he it's, keeps on but, cursing out there, we'll take him to jail. But I, I yeah, that's, issue. I mean, you, you come out here, you'll hear him. I mean, it's every other, every two or three words he's cursing, so. Yeah. Hey, sir. <laughs> Hey, I'm really sorry to bother you at home, but, and, and I only wanted to involve you because I know Gonzo's a little busy right now, and I, I really trust your input and your thoughts on this. Um, All right. What in the world, when in the world do I consider this guy, Mr. Ponytail Express, who's the child molester, when do I consider this disorderly conduct with him standing out on the sidewalk cursing and screaming at me? over here at ABC Pond. When do I, you know what I mean? Because I mean, I, he was originally out here cursing at me. I told him, I said, I am not talking to you. I said, I am not talking to a child molester. I'm not doing it. I don't want any part of it. Stay away from me, go away. And he will not, I mean, I don't care about him standing out on the sidewalk. I really don't. It doesn't bother me. He can videotape me, I'm just running speed. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me, but yeah. Where do I draw the line? Were you involved in a traffic stop? Or you were just... yeah. No, he was out on the corner and he saw me drive up and he screamed, what's up, fuck stick? And I'm like, so... leave, I said, leave me alone. I said, I'm not talking to you. I'm not, I don't talk, I don't talk to child molesters. So. What, what you need to do is if you're sitting there and he walks up, drive away. Yeah, I know. That's I'm just, it, and, and I, tru and I, and I, you know, that crossed my mind. I mean, he was saying, I hope you, you want to arrest me, don't you? You want to arrest me, don't you? I'm like, no. I said, I really don't. <laughs> but He's just yeah. trying to aggravate you. What I would have done yeah. is roll my windows up and not pay him any bad attention. Because I want to know their standpoint on it, and I called LT. So, what did he say? Uh, he, was like, he was like, you're good. He's like, just... Um, 
he goes, you know, he said, next time, he said, it's just better off, just roll your windows up and drive away. And so far, I want to say kudos to the Commerce Police Department located in Georgia, because it seems like every officer is letting him know, dude, just walk away, leave. He's just prideful and he doesn't want to leave. He wants to go back and forth. And he's slandering a man's name when his superior superiors are telling him, you should have just left. Morning. Sorry Morning. about that. No worries. How you I doing? I it was you. I didn't stop my heart. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm all right. So, have you had a chance to look at the body cam? I have. Um, it doesn't look good. It doesn't We're look good. We're investigation. So, can you tell me if he went in there and said the same thing to them? He, did he go in there and call me a child molester to them? The video looks horrible. Okay. And we're doing an investigation. Go ahead and put, actually fill out the uh, forms. I got the forms. I'm going to fill those get out. Get them back to me. But like I said, I'm not waiting until I get the forms to start an investigation. That's already started. Yes, sir. Here's my issue, and I want you and everybody else that sees this to know. I'm not anti-police. I'm not anti-cop. Bad policing landed me in jail for two and a half years facing a life sentence for a crime I didn't commit. And, and bad policing also hid evidence of that crime until the trial. That's what got me acquitted after 15 minutes of jury deliberations. I'm not anti-police. I'm anti-bad policing. And I'm anti-guys that can't control their emotions. If you can't control your emotions, you shouldn't be out here. And they just went through training last year over the Emerson incident. And obviously, it didn't stick for at least him. You know what I mean? A couple other officers, great job ignoring me. Perfect job ignoring me. That's what they're supposed to do. But, you know, we definitely have an issue with this one. So um, We're going to do the investigation and see if policy violations, whatever, they yeah. heard. And then we'll go from there. It, but, but, but you know, if he said that inside the ABC pawn shop, said that to them, that's a whole different bag of issues. What was he doing? No, he come over. I told him, I said, don't say nothing to me. I said, you make a scene. He's got the video camera out saying, also, he's, a, he's a child molester. Yeah. He got charged with child molestation. Yeah. And, got, and he sat in jail. Yeah. That's, that's def defamation and slander. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you getting you know, on it, and uh, I'll go ahead and get those put out. I might turn it back in this afternoon just so you have everything at your disposal, and you know we'll talk about it when we talk about it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Have a good day. You have a good one. According to North Georgia Audit, he is actually very happy with the way that the Commerce Police Department is handling the situation. Even before he could get to the department to make a complaint, um, they were on it, which is good. So. They took a look at the body cam and they realized that this officer was slandering a law abiding citizen and they did something about it. And so therefore I is involved. That's the type of accountability that people have been asking for. And that's why we record the police. Kudos to this department and also kudos to North Georgia audits. Um, definitely going to be looking for the follow up and we'll keep you guys posted. But before we get out of here, I do want to read some comments from the video that I released yesterday. And there are a lot of interesting uh, things stated. And there were some questions that were in the comment section that I wanted to address. Let me get those really quickly. So yesterday, um, I stated that I received videos and I don't always cover those videos because the officer is not always wrong. And, you know, people will send me videos and they want me to cover the video as if the officer is wrong in there, right? And I can't do that. If I'm going to cover the video, I'm going to cover the video honestly. And in some situations, I'm told, hey, don't cover the video, you know. Uh, so there was a comment that asked the question, I don't understand why you can't cover the story honestly, according to your knowledge. Did the person demand that you did the person demand you to lie uh, on her behalf? Well, she did not demand or request for me to lie, but she had her own truth. And her truth was that she was right. And me looking at this situation and taking the law into account, looking at it, I did not agree. And so therefore she did not want me to cover the story. It is her property. So I couldn't cover the story. I just told her, I'm sorry, I can't cover it if I can't tell the truth or of, of what I see. And what I see is the police officer was not wrong in this instance. Okay, so there's another comment and it states, 38.02 states you must be lawfully, in all caps, detained. This guy, in my opinion, is not lawfully detained. And your point about 38.02 is incorrect. No valid, no valid traffic violation or infraction, not illegal detainment. Well, here's the thing about that. You don't know that um, we weren't there. The only evidence we have is the video. And according to the video, and as I stated yesterday, 
I do believe that it was uh, a retaliatory stop. But if the officer is telling you, hey, I stopped you for speeding and there is no other proof in the video uh, and there's no there's nothing but the driver saying I was not speeding. You can't say if it was lawful or unlawful because you really don't know. There's nothing else in the video to prove that it was unlawful. Does it mean that there was no proof that exists? No, but we just did not see that in the video. So therefore, if you're stopped on a traffic stop and the officer say, hey, I stopped you because you're speeding or failing to maintain lane or whatever the reason is, he's giving you his reasonable articulable suspicion of why he pulled you over. At that point, the state requires you to either provide or display your driver's license. You can't say that there was no reasonable articulable suspicion. There was no infraction because you don't know. You only know what you saw in that portion of the video. Another comment stated lawfully. It wasn't lawful. So you're wrong. Retaliation isn't lawful. Here's where you're wrong. OK, it both can be true. It can be a retaliatory stop and lawful at the same time. You might say, well, how is that possible? Think about this. The speed limit, let's say for hypothetically at 75 miles per hour, you're doing 76, 77 or even 78. Most officers are not going to pull you over for that. That's just not what not going to waste my time to stop you because you're going two miles per hour over. Remember, though, the speed limit is 75. There are even some policies that would state how far over um, a person should go before you conduct a traffic stop. My department did that. So we're not going to always waste our time with, OK, it's 75 and you're doing 77 or 78. You're going you're to get a ticket. No. Who does that? But let's say, for example, I give the officer the middle finger. Now, in retaliation, I am going to lawfully stop you because you are going over the speed limit and I can cite you. And it is a lawful uh, stop. It is a lawful detainment because it, it, there was a traffic infraction. You were over the speed limit. Now, did he only stop you because he was retaliating because of the middle finger? Yes. But did you also go over the speed limit? Yes. Both are true. The problem that we have to the thing we have to remember is this. If you are going to give the officer the middle finger, make sure you're not committing any traffic uh, infractions or breaking any laws because he's going to use whatever you're doing wrong against you. So, yes, it was a retaliatory stop. And yes, it could have been a lawful stop as well if the driver was going over the speed limit. And the last comment, it states, question, what states would you have to identify if an officer asked you to at WTPU? So I also have this listed down in my app. Every state except for Kentucky, Oklahoma, Puerto Rico, Michigan, Connecticut, Mississippi, South Dakota, Tennessee, Hawaii, New Jersey, Virginia, Idaho, West Virginia, Iowa, and Wyoming have some, some type of law that has a identified statute. Am I saying the other states other, other than those that I just named are stop and ID states? No, they're not necessarily stop and ID states, but there are statutes that exist that may require you to identify yourself. For example, Georgia has a statute, loitering and prowling. If you're caught loitering or prowling, or the officer believes or has reasonable articulable suspicion that you are loitering or prowling, at that point, he can require you to identify yourself per the state law. But is Georgia considered a stop and ID state? No. Remember guys, always know your rights and always record the police. Till next time, we the People University, signing off. Welcome to The GOAT Debate, the premier online sports debate show where engaging discussions and thrilling debates unfold as we determine who is the greatest of all time in every sport. Be sure to subscribe, call in, and participate. Come and be a part of the conversation.